Yo, what's going on? 67 Let's go to over here doing a ranked 1v1 and I'm playing E set. We're not just doing any normal E set. We're doing some super cringe gross E set that uh comes to you straight out the gate from my friend J2B. Let me show you just the build he did. It's a pretty terrible build. Let me pause real quick just so, you know. Um yeah, so it's Chronos Pendant. It's a little small on screen. I don't know if you can see it, so I'll read it to you. Chronos Pendant, Gem of Isolation, Abyssal Stone, Obsidian Shard, Polynomicon, Demonic Grip. I think it's what it's called. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's got no real defensive item. 20% cooldown, not even real cooldown. It does have max pen, but you have to auto attack to get it when your only auto attack speed is actually demonic. Now, the reason we're doing this build, and by the way, he went he went meditation and uh, uh, sunder, so I'm going to be building those two. The reason we're doing this build is because he claims it's decent. And I want him to know that, one, it's not, and two... Uh, I don't, I don't respect him for making me do this. <laughs> <coughs> no, I, we're doing this build because, uh, we both know J2B and I, we both know it's a bad build and it's just, it would be really funny if I could somehow pull off an abyssal stone game in duel. Now, the reason he made this build in the first place is in response to my vampire build video. And he wanted to make a mage vampire build type type game. And he did it specifically with the set, which is why we're doing it with the set. Uh, but that's what the Abyssal Stone and the Gem of Iso is for. Basically, we're taking away his cooldowns and his movement speed. And for some reason, that is it. That's all we're taking away. But we're basically doing a mage vampire build, I guess. Although, I will say, it might actually work against a Scylla. You know what's crazy to think? Is that I can't actually... Oh, you don't have your three, dude? He didn't have his three! <sighs> the greed. The greed. To not get your three and still go aggro on a wave. Especially against an Aset. Oh, man. That's crazy. I'm not going to get my ult, by the way. I don't really think that I need it yet. What I need is guaranteed better clear. Ouch. And I'm going to get that by putting more points in my one. That's a really good start, I'll admit. Although, right now, our build doesn't look very meme -y. Our build is just, I'm going chrono spending, you know? The Abyssal Stone will feel really good, though. I, I like. There's aspects of this build that I do really like, and... You know, obviously the Kronos put in start is not bad. Um, the Abyssal Stone against a Mage actually really does work. I This is my second attempt, full transparency. Uh, my first attempt was against a Hachiman, and he literally just WK'd me, and I died within four seconds. Um, hit me. Okay. Oh, you are so greedy. You are so greedy. I've never met someone more greedy in my entire life. Literally a quarter of a single HP point left. And he still goes for it. Stop. I'll kill you. I'll kill you again. Okay. Nice. Now we go back. With the Chronos Pendant. We go for the Abyssal Stone. We can only grab tier 1, but that's fine. But yeah, anyways, what I was saying was the Abyssal Stone actually will feel really good against mages in general. Against hunters, assassins, stuff like that. It's not going to feel very good, but mages specifically, it will feel decent. I was hoping he was just, like, lazy backing after his teleport, but I guess not. 
I do want his blue buff actually, because his blue buff is going to come out, come up just about the same second as mine. Oh, he's prepping for it. Did he get the fence? Oh, he did. I was like, I'm only hitting him for 90 right now. That's that's absurd. And full clear that line. Oh, God. Almost walked into that. Um, Are we alting this together? Boop. Boop. Big kill. All right, now we get the red buff. I don't know why he's challenging me in these fights. He should know by now. I am just, I'm just further ahead. I'm three levels up. He's not going to win these fights. At least he shouldn't win these fights. If he did, then something is wrong. Well, the something would be my build. If he started winning fights, I think I know what the something would be. But still. Let's go back. We get the Abyssal Stone. Don't hit me. Stop looking at me funny. Stop looking at me funny. We juke that. Ah, okay. We don't juke it. Can't hit him because I'm bad. Can't hit him because I'm bad. All right. He has life steal. Oh, he does have life steal. Started Bancrofts. There's no way. We're gonna start. Thought he was gonna do it again. Uh, and then what was it? Gem of Iso. Was Gem of Iso before? Oh, Gem of Iso was before Abyssal. But whatever. Same thing, really. Um, yeah, the 20% cooldown is going to feel really nice. Or 20% negative cooldown for him. Although I will say with Genji's... I don't know if it's going to feel that crazy. Oh, the horn shard. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, he's definitely feeling it. He is definitely feeling that cooldown, dude. I missed. Oh, okay. Good catch. Good catch. That abyssal stone. He was not loving it. Oh, you are so greedy, man. I'm killing you. JK, 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 JK. Wait. Ah. Oh, I scared him. You thought it might have hit him. All right, give me this. Give me this blue. Do you think he stopped his back to steal this? Thank God he didn't. I am terrified he's going to kill me, though. Because to be honest with you, I am not tanky. Oh, we lowered his cooldowns. And now he's, now all of his cooldowns just got used. We're keeping those cooldowns lowered. Go ahead, hit me. Go ahead, hit me. I dare you. Go ahead, do it. Go ahead. I do want to damage him just a little bit so his cooldowns are reduced, but I don't know. It's not even worth it if I'm not fighting him, I guess. Come on, step up. Yes! You're dead. Oh, beads! Okay. Well played. Well played. Oh, I didn't think he'd back. He's been so greedy this whole game that I genuinely thought he would stay. And now we go Sunder. Oh, what's my next item? Obsidian Shard. Okay, well, I can't buy tier one of that yet, so we'll just wait it out. 
Just wait it out. How much is shard? 2,590 power. All right. All right, all right. Hello. I missed. I just Genji proc'd him. Oh, ho, ho. good play. Oh, come on, die. Die, 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 die. Oh, so close, man. Yes. Huge. Okay. Can I take this? I mean, I can, but it won't be because of the dual orb. It'll be because minions came in. There we go. Get a little damage on that big minion. Might as well. Before I run away. It's crazy that these fights are difficult when I am three levels up and 2,000 gold up. It's crazy how much a good build versus a bad build can like make a difference. Even if one person is really far ahead of the other. But I will say it is interesting. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Hey, we run. That alt actually hit me so hard. Dude, my abyssal is destroying him. My cooldowns are destroying him. And honestly, the gem of ISO proc there was pretty nice. It's hard to notice them though. Cause like, I never actually care enough about the gem of ISO proc for it to matter. You know what I mean? Like it's not good enough for it to matter most times. Oh, I've made errors in my judgment. Oh, that's good. Give me the red. Don't let him steal it. Thank you. Now get me all the way away from here. All the way away from here. I'm running all the way back. Thank you. Now we got ob shard and what's after ob shard? Poly? We can buy a full ob shard, a tier one poly. It's not bad. It's not bad. The build is bad, but the power spikes I'm hitting with so much gold is not. Okay. Ow. Yo, that did 700 damage to me. Silence. I missed. Hit, hit, hit. Oh, okay. Hit, hit, hit. Nice. Lower cooldowns if he turns on me. I missed. Silence, though. Good stuff. If you use that, I'll use this. You're zooming away, probably. Doesn't matter because I can W key you. And detonate. <gasps> oh no! Damn, that is tragic. I do auto the tower for 69 damage. The whole build is worth it. Pop. Oh, don't do it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Does he have poly? He does. That should hurt. Okay. I'm running. You're better than me. I'm not running. I'm not running. I'm not a bit. I'm not bitch made. Oh. Okay.
Damn it, he's running all the way back. Alright. Alright, let's go get our poly, I guess. And start being an auto attack E set. Gonna run all the way back. I'm not lazy backing. Not today. Not today. And last item is demonic, which I can grab tier one of real quick. So let me just go through what this build has to offer. Just so everyone knows. 400 power as a mage. Terrible. Um, yeah, just, just terrible. He has as much power as me and he's a full item behind. Uh... So 400 power as a mage, bad. 20% cooldown, bad. Because you either want maxed or none. You either want a one shot or you want max cooldown. You know, you don't want 20%. So you got low damage, low cooldown. Uh, one half defensive item, bad. And half the pen. You're like... It's as if you made a build to half-ass every single thing in Smite. It, it, it's it's just objectively a terrible build. <laughs> it's like, objectively, it's just bad. Okay, he is better than me. That, that hits? Oh, it doesn't hit. That hits. That hits. He can detonate while silenced. My life is a lie. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, man. So close. But I have Polly. Come on. And that's Phoenix. Ow. Polly. No, that hit. It was a ghost hit! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god. Oh, I'm in shambles right now, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm level 20, full build with under 500 power. He is level 17, missing an entire item. And he has as much power as me. dummy oh oh he was backing he also has more cooldown than me too he doesn't have pen though I missed my poly we did get both of his relics just now though Oh, I walked in. I walked into it. I thought he was going to deton detonate a little bit earlier. My demonic be slapping. Hold up. Never mind. I missed my poly again. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no. Oh no. I really, I I wanted to end the game there because I, I think now that he's going to be level 20 very soon that I just lose the game. So I really wanted to see if I could end. What does this do? 15% of current health is true damage. Linking them to you for the next three seconds. They are dealt 8% dealt of their current health is true damage every second. So this is 24%. And I receive healing. So that's just better. But I have to be close for it. We'll get some cooldowns on it. Get a bull demon. Which is very weird because I have a tower. <coughs> he could have just taken the tower, I feel like. But, you know, who am I to judge? Look at my build. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to grab red and the 500 pot just so I have somewhat of a decent amount of power like 684 i would consider anything 700 or i'd consider anything 750 or under probably low for a mage 
Like, what are, what are you at? You're at 675 without a 500 pot or a red buff. Which is pretty nuts. Alright, you die here, you die here, you die here. No. No, not fair, no! Oh my god, he almost freaking killed me. That hits. That hits! Silence! Polly! No, I missed the Polly! Not like this! This kills, this kills, this kills. Yes! Oh my god. Okay. I can't believe that hit. I cannot believe that hit. Holy. Use the silence just for the for the poly auto and boom, chapow. Look at that, baby. We did it. We won with the worst build imaginable. I half-assed every single stat in smite. And still won. Shout out J2B for making probably the worst build I've ever seen that I can still win with. Um honestly an impressive feat. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.